Thank you for joining us today at Mitch Wargaming Labs. Today, we're going to go over how painted this Assault Intercessor. So, to start, I prime this Macrage Blue. So that's this color. And priming it Macrage Blue saved me a lot of time in doing the armor. But, if buying a can of paint just for one faction of your army doesn't work for you and want something more universal, I normally go with standard Mechanicus Gray. Or if something a little bit cheaper, Army Uniform Gray. But, something I don't use and normally prefer on my metal models, and it's really cheap and widely available, Krylon Color Max Gray. If you go with the gray route, then you just need a bottle of Macrage Blue, paint it blue, and then you can start from there. So the armor, in addition, is also various blends of Altdorf Guard Blue and Army Painter's Crystal Blue as the highlight. Now the black of the utility and his bolter pistol is Abaddon Black with a highlight of a blue-gray color, the Fang. Now the metal is done with Lead Belcher, the highlight of Runefang Steel. And the gold is Balthazar Gold, the highlight of Auric Armor Gold. And then a little spotlight highlight of Runefang Steel again. And his eyes in the red of uh, little straps there is Evil Sun Scarlet with the highlight of Troll Slayer Orange. And remember, a lot of this model is also coated in non oil in between some of these layers. You'll see how I put it on as you go through the video. But I love this stuff for going into the grooves of the model and giving it a lot of pop. Now, the heraldry of the shield, you know, paint your shield your own way. I'm just painting this white and then I'll put a transfer on it. But it's a base of iron rack skin to get, you know, the blue down under control. And then a layer of pallid witch flesh to give it that bright white. And I'll find a transfer that I like and stick it in there. All right, let's get started on this model. All right, so I have my Assault Intercessor Sergeant here, and I've already primed him Macrage Blue to save some time. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Abaddon Black, and I'm going to black out the areas. Uh, this is just blocking them in. That will appear black. So I'm going to use my fine point brush. Because the areas I want to get are his uh, belt and all the things around the casing. I want to get his sword and his sidearm. I also want to get the joints in between his armor. And at this stage, you don't have to worry too much about neatness. And some other stages will do uh, other highlights and touch-up work. So any sloppiness at this part can be hidden later. Don't worry about it, just keep rolling forward. Now that I've blocked in the areas that I want black, I'm now going to move on to lead belcher and I'm going to do the same thing let me shake this paint up there we go now I'm going to block in the areas that I want to get a metallic color to so for that let me just get this little brush here and we're going to mark off first his earmuffs up here, then we're going to have his snorkel, 
his rebreather apparatus on his helmet. And get his exhausts on his backpack. I'm just gonna mark it off right now. I'll go fill it in later. And then the little areas of his pistol. This just reminds me where I want to go back and paint it. All right. So I painted in the middle uh, on his face, his pistol. I forgot to mention I did the bits of his chain sword and then the exhaust ports back here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a touch in his the eyes of his helmet. And for that, I'm going to use some Mephiston Red. And I just want a touch of this. So using just the tip of the brush, just get it in there. It's okay if it goes over a little bit. We can clean it up at a future stage. There. Now I've got will start to be the red of his eyes. All right. Now is my favorite thing to do is we are going to get out the most useful paint ever. Known lot known oil. So I'm going to use this as a wash. Now what I do is uh, it's already been uh, primed garage blue but I want to darken it down. So I'm going to wet this brush. It's a junk brush, one that I've beaten all to heck, but it's good for slopping on known oil. So what I'm going to do is turn this guy upside down and Start rubbing this stuff on his undercarriage. Not too much, though. And I like to do it upside down first. Because the idea is if I put it on right side up, sometimes I'm not paying attention to the underside of the model. And you'll get these little dry bubbles appearing in there. Got it pushed into all his nooks and crannies. So we're going to let that dry, and then we'll come back to him. So the Nuln oil has dried on our model, and now I'm ready to move on to start painting the gold. So I'm going to use Balthazar gold. Now I am painting up Space Marines, Ultramarines of the second company, so they use a lot of gold trim. And so what I'm going to do first is mark off the areas I want gold. So I want the Aquila on the chest piece. It's got a little forehead decoration here. It's got his little symbol of the Emperor right there. And since it's going to be second company, I want the border trim and all the pauldrons to be gold. So I'm just going to go around, like I said, I like to mark off, while I have it fresh in my mind, what everything's going to be. And don't worry about going over a little bit. We still have to do the blue armor and get that to the right tint that I want. 
which means we can always do touch-ups later. So I finished putting on the gold that I want there. So now I am going to put some Reichlin Flesh Shade. And unlike the Nolan Oil, which I put all over the model, with the Flesh Shade, I'm just going to put it on the gold sections. You don't have to be too careful, but just want it on the gold. This will give it a darker stain and recess in there, give it some more dimensionality. And once we have all our gold shaded, we are going to let this thing dry and then come back to it. Alright, so now that that wash has dried, I'm ready to work on the blue armor. And for that, I'm going to go to Altdorf Guard Blue. What I'm going to do is get my brush a little wet. There, I want some moisture and bristles. I'm going to get a little bit of paint. And so I'm going to show you how to do one of these panels. For every panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top, acting as if the light is coming down. And I'm going to put the paint on top, and I'm going to pull it down. So I'm going to pull it down. So I'm going to aim for the bottom edge of this panel. I'm not going to bring it all the way down there. Just a little bit. So the idea is I'll probably come like 75-80% of the way down. I'll do that a couple more times. All right, and so I'm going to keep on going around doing all those panels. The idea, light's coming down, so this will be the brightest blue. An exception would be something like this panel right here, where we can see the edge of the panel is out in the light, but the top of the panel is tucked underneath the shadow area created by the pauldron and the little shield there. So what I'll do in that case is put the blue here, and slowly push it back. So I'll finish going around and start tinting these panels blue. Now that the blue armor has dried, I'm ready to put on the next coat of blue. So I want something a little bit brighter, so I'm going to do a little mix. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Army Painter Crystal Blue, and I'm going to put a drop in there. 
Then I'm going to take some of the Altdorf Guard Blue I used before. And I'm going to get a portion of that. I'm going to blend this together until I get the blue color I want. Alright, and so what I'm going to do is the same thing we did last time. Then we'll demonstrate on a couple of these panels. So I'm going to take the blue and start at the top. And we can see this is a lighter blue. So the idea, light is coming down. So where the light hits the most is where the blue will be the lightest. around the curvature of the pauldron. And putting the most of the blue at the top, we'll pull it down the curved space of the pauldron. And so recognize when I started this with just the Altdorf guard blue, I pulled it mostly down. Here I'm not going to pull the paint down as much, and I'm going to layer on the blue until I get the desired level of blue that I want there. So we can see the change in the gradations of the blue. Now we do a panel like this here. We're actually going to have the edge of the panel brighter and have it get darker the further back because you got to imagine the shield and the pauldron are shading the top portion of this panel. I'll put a little extra there. Make sure just to get all these surfaces up high. Alright, so we'll go around and do the rest of these panels. So I put on the next layer of blue, and what I'm going to do now is take some crystal blue and I just put a straight drop on my palette and now I'm just going to do some spot and edge highlights along the plates just what are supposed to be the brightest parts so do the top edge the pauldron so this will be our final highlight of blue here So we'll go around the model and just pick out different areas to brighten up.
now that we've now that we've finished up the blue, we're gonna start touching up the gold. I'm gonna make it a little bit shinier, and for that, I'm gonna put on uh, some highlights of Arc Armor Gold. I've already mixed them up in my palette here. And what I'm going to do is just try to do some of the edges of the feathers on the Aquila, top of the skull there. And we'll just start going around getting the raised surfaces of the various veteran symbols. and his shoulder pads. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight the gold with some rune fang silver. Let me bring it over here. So it's a brighter silver, and we're not just going to do the gold, we're going to do some of the metal bits on the bolter pistol and on his helmet. So go ahead, just do some highlights here. on the skull on his helmet. There. And we'll just do some spot highlights on different gold aspects of it. So do a little streak there. A few of the feathers. Right. The next step will be to take some fang. This is a gray with a little blue tint to it. And we're going to highlight the black bits. So I'm going to take the paint on the flat of the brush. I'm just going to run it across some of these edge surfaces here. Now I'm going to do pistol holster, the utility belt, the little ridges between uh, the armor here. Go around, got his little belt here too. I got to do the bolter. I finished everything on this model, highlighted some sections, so I want to do his eyes. And I'm going to get my little tiny brush, and I've already mixed up, uh, thinned down basically, some Troll Slayer Orange. So remember, did his eyes red, so to show that it's an optics package, I'm just going to get a little hint of orange right where the pupil would go. Not getting sharp enough. Eyes are the trickiest part. Just a little touch. I want a little runny. So 
so it moves around in there. All right, got one eye, so that gives it a little depth. Makes it looks like lights reflect reflecting out of there. Sometimes I find the best way to do eyes is turn the model upside down. So, alright. It looks properly grim dark. And the final touch. So, whenever I don't drill out the gun barrels, I've got to paint in the little hole the little bolt around will come out of. So. We do I'm just gonna paint a little dot right there. There we go. So we'll call that a day on this model. Our salt intercessor. This was supposed to be the sergeant's body, but I out of the Indominus box, but I want the other model. But I kept this little shield on there. And for that, let's see. Thinking about the shield, how do I want to do that? I think I'll take some iron rack skin. Start painting this white. I like to say, save the heraldry on these guys for last. I'll put a base for iron rack down. So I've got my base of iron rack skin on there. And since this is an assault intercessor, I'm not going to do any really fancy heraldry on here or shield base. Save that for the blade guard vets and the lieutenant and the captain on their shields. Say so he's still new working his way up. Alright so I put on some white. Alright we'll leave it like that. I need a little boo-boo right here. Touch that up. That'll happen. Dude, going everywhere. Alright, so when this happens, just get a dry brush, mop around there, get the liquid up. Now get out my crystal blue. And just touch up that A edge. The rest of it I'll save for the decal. I'll go right there. Alright. That is our model. Ready to have the little transfers put on there. So thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs. We'll see you next time.